Tyler for to our viewers today and this is a brief recap of the fourth installment of our Samoa conference held at the National University of Samoa provided to you by your media team. Two days into Samoa conference four and discussions have slid towards leadership and the fights against domestic violence. Professor Tangalo Tele Peggy Dunlop kicked off the day with some strong statements calling on leaders to take actions against domestic violence. Tangalo Tele says the narrative is known in Samoan culture, Ole Tuofofine Ole Ioi Matal Tuangani doesn't protect all women in Samoa. Tangalo Tele claims violence against women sees no principle or boundary. So there's always a, you know, well she did that because, or she did that because. But while that is important, it's actually time to get to the heart of the matter by examining and understanding the ideology, the rationale which underpins women's place and which appears in Samoa to justify acts of violence against women. Can it protect all women? Because that's what we want, isn't it? Not just a law or something that protects you when you're a sister, and then you can get uh, manhandled when you are a wife. Using that research and the others, the fair, the fair nanga is not and cannot be protective ideal for all women. She says it's up to village and community leaders to take the torch and run with it in the fight against domestic violence. For Dr. Mercy Asiu Maliko, it's a task the churches must take on. An estimated total of 99.8% of Samoans are churchgoers. She believes there can be a platform as big as this to address the issue. The church has an imperative and prophetic role in breaking the silence on the issue of violence, to speak openly about violence, naming it for what it is, and naming it as a sin before God. Unfortunately, the church has not been the conscience we need to liberate society. The church, though, has responded since answering the call to lead. Dr. Maliko says the common practice has been turning a blind eye to cases of violence within the villages. It is the hope that with the churches taking the lead this time around, it will make a big difference. At the other end of discussion, Sili Miretsa Peter called out the number of incest increasing in Samoa. Ms. Peter from the University of Auckland erased a joke within the word Mataifale, defining it as the eye in the house. Mataifale. Mata meaning I, E meaning towards, Fale the home. And it is a term itself that carries indescribable shame for it describes the situation in which one has had to turn into his or her own home environment for sexual gratification, considered as a mio matanga, offensive, or inosia, disgusting to the sensibilities of others. As the Samoan proverb goes, a malui a ingai mal fo ifafu. We just honor our children for the blessings that they are then less of these issues will occur. <laughs> and that's all we've got for the second day of Samoa Conference. Keep tuning in for more from our team as the Samoa Conference continues.